think about this. What is one thing that everybody on this planet has in common? Think about it. Whether you've got a whole lot or a little or anything in between, we in the zone believe that everybody has something to share. Matter of fact, would you say that with me? Here we go. Everybody has something to share. Good job. Now, if you're like me, you've learned about sharing from a really, really young age, right? I mean, even before your little baby mouth could say the word share, your parents were like, hey, you gotta give your sister a turn. You gotta give your cousin the last lollipop. You can't just grab a toy out of Timmy's hands and kick him over. That's not nice. Whether we're being reminded about sharing or whether we're reminding ourselves, like a lot of us grown-ups have to do sometimes, when we hear the word share in our brain, it's not usually with fireworks and a lot of exciting music. It often feels kind of like this, kind of a downer. Like, oh, come on, I gotta share, I gotta give the stuff that I have. I like my stuff, I'm comfortable, I don't wanna do that. But that's not always the case. Some of us are, are really, really good people. We really wanna share, but we're not always confident that what we have is something that people would want. So maybe we get a little scared of sharing because what if they laugh at us? What if what we have to offer isn't good enough? And it makes it even worse when we look over to this person right here. This person who, for whatever reason, just loves to share. I mean, no matter what day it is, no matter what they got in the bank account, they're always sharing. Here, have this, take that, boom, boom, boom. I mean, who loves sharing that much? Nobody could be that happy. Seriously, man, got my eye on you. It's weird, it's weird. But maybe you're not like any of these. Maybe you've given all you had to give, but maybe it just didn't feel like enough. Maybe it didn't feel like it made any difference whatsoever and it made you a little discouraged, a little sad. Maybe you even asked God, what difference does it make if I'm just one tiny drop in a really big bucket? And so you were sad, you were discouraged, and maybe you even asked God, what, what's the point of all this if it doesn't make a difference? And maybe you're still waiting for an answer. Well, when you look in the Bible for answers, you'll see what God has to say about sharing. In Luke 6, 38, he says, give, and it will be given to you, a good measure. Pressed down, shaken together, running over, will be poured into your lap. With the same measure you give, it will be given to you. And that's an amazing promise because basically God is saying, if you share, you'll be blessed. But what if I told you that something even more powerful happens when you make a choice to share, even better than getting your blessing back? What if I told you that all of us are like dots? floating in space, and none of us are connected to one another. He's a dot, you're a dot, I'm a dot, she's a dot. We're not looking at each other, we're not talking to each other, we're trying to kind of avoid each other until one of us makes a really important choice, a choice to share. Doesn't matter if it's a kind word or a gift, whatever it is, we decide we're gonna make that connection. And when that connection happens, it's almost like we're playing a really big game of connect the dots. And what happens when you connect dots? Well, you create a picture, right? And that's the cool thing about sharing. As soon as we connect the dots by sharing with those around us, we create a picture of the love of Jesus Christ, the one who was first to share, the one who gave his life on a cross so that you and I could be free from the consequences of our sin. What's so amazing, what's so big, what's so powerful about the simple act of sharing with the person next to you? Well, when we do that, we create a picture of the God of the universe whose love for us overwhelms us. It's bigger than anything we could ever imagine. And we get to be a picture of that for the world. There's nothing greater or bigger or more important than that. Now, that doesn't mean that sometimes you don't feel a little bit like this ping pong ball right here, tiny, puny, insignificant, but thank God the truth overwhelms what we feel. And the truth is that this ping pong ball, even though it's really tiny, can make a huge difference. Now, how do I know that? Well, because we've rigged up 600 mousetraps with 600 other ping pong balls just like this. And they're just waiting for one tap one little push, one ping pong ball to take the leap and say, I'm gonna be the first one to share and cause a chain reaction that's bigger than any one of us. Are you ready to see this? Here we go. Ah!
<laughs> that was incredible. See, I think the biggest mistake you and I can make is underestimating what God can do with us. I mean, we're talking about the God who created the entire universe with his words. I mean, he breathed life into all humanity through his nose holes. He can do anything, and he can make a big difference through your simple act of sharing. If only you'll be willing to go first, to take the leap and make a chain reaction like you just saw. And you know what? Let's start by sharing our big idea together. Now, our big idea for you grown-ups who don't know what that is, is the statement that we learn every single month in the zone that has a biblical truth to it. We practice it and we do some pretty fun motions. Now, I want all the boys and girls in the zone to stand up because we're gonna show them how it's done. That's you, up on your feet. If you come to the zone, I'm talking to you. We're gonna do our big idea and we're gonna show these grown-ups how it's done. All right, pay attention, grown-ups. Here we go. One, two, three. God gives it, I share it. All right, that was amazing, boys and girls. Give a, give a big round of applause for our boys and girls. Now, were you paying attention, grown-ups? Because it is your turn. That's right, I want you all to stand up. If you're a grown-up, whoever you are in this room, stand up because we're gonna do our big idea one last time all together. Are you ready? One, two, three. God gives it, I share it. Oh. That was impressive. Give yourselves a big round of applause. You did good. You did really good.